Hi Capricorns. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot today. My name is Elena. I'm doing a general spread for you. This is going to be good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Capricorns. And this is general so energies can be moved around and it will not resonate with everyone. Thank you for viewing me. I'm going to get started. I am going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. I'll be looking at something Capricorn, something you've recently been through, the crossing energies, the person or people you've been dealing with, and then what is headed in. I was pre-shuffling and stand your ground with solitude popped out, just flew out. So let's see, spirit guides, show me something my Capricorns have been through. Show me the strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns right now this reading is for. What do you want to show me? Tell me about the strongest energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. This reading is for, show me the strongest energies, please. What do you want me to see for the strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns? Please show me what I need to see. Thank you for the strongest, thank you, energies around the sign of Capricorns. Anything else? Thank you. Okay, underneath the deck is triumph and success with transformation. Hmm. All right, let's start. Over to my left is I have moving on and I have solar plexus chakra. Like I feel, and this is what I do is I feel, if you've never viewed me before, I will start to feel and I'm doing it now. I feel that you've moved on from the things that have literally always hurt your gut. Like solar plexus is right here and it's like, you know that sometimes when we feel too much, we start to just, it, it, it can eat away at you. I feel like you're moving on from something that's been eating it at you. Cause I saw stand your ground with solitude. I do have the waiting game around you. I have financial and material changes. Like I feel right now around you right now is like you're literally right now waiting, waiting for something to change. Cause I have changes in the waiting game with financial and material changes. I do have harmony. This is truly what you want. This is going to be my center card. Harmony. Just can't we get along? Can't we just be at peace? I have it with patience. Prosperity will begin. And then I have emotional withdrawal. So what I feel from this is that right now the strongest energy in you is you're transforming yourself from Something that has been nothing but a dead skin to you because what you truly want is triumph and success. It's right there. And then underneath all that, I had firm foundation. Uh, solar plexus with moving on. And then the last card they gave me is emotional withdrawal. It's like now I think the current energies around you is you're starting to emotionally withdraw from something. We are in earth season. You know, now you're going to get more grounded, more more into this energy of the things that have really been kind of eating at your solar plexus. It's like your gut is you moving on from it. Yeah. Because you want harmony and you're waiting for financial and material changes. And that can mean a lot of things with that financial and material changes. But I feel you want things around you about a firm foundation and you want peace. You want, if we just can't get along, I need to move on. You're definitely waiting. You know something's going to change. Prosperity is about to begin. And they want me to tell you, please be patient. Patience. Patience is a virtue. It's not the easiest thing to have sometimes. But I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, then this is your reading for the sign of Capricorns. What do you want to show me, please? Recent past for the sign of Capricorns. I gotta do one more shuffle. Six of Pentacles with the Hermit. Solitude. Uh, the Hermit is, you've been really looking at the things in your life that you've received from. Six of Pentacles is a card about receiving. For the sign of Capricorns, recent past. I gotta focus. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Recent past. Thank you for the sign of Capricorns. Show me a little bit about the recent past. Thank you. For the sign. Thank you. Of Capricorns. What else do you want to show me, please? Thank you. About the recent. Thank you. Past for the sign. Thank you. 
of Capricorns. Underneath the deck, there it is again, the Hermit, with standing your ground about justice. Justice is Libra energy, and then underneath that, I have the Lovers. It's Gemini. But I saw the cards earlier that were popping out. Did I have any? No. Okay. Sometimes they fall. Well, the Hermit popped out again, and it's with you standing your ground. And the Seven of Wands is you on the upper ledge with your fire stick battling at everyone and everything that has been coming at you that you've been looking at to find your answers. I mean, I do believe you are standing your ground about triumph and success. And I feel that from the things that have emotionally been draining you in your solar plexus, you're fighting it off and, and you're trying to find your answers about it because with justice and the levers here, that is two big major arcanas, Gemini and Libra, but that is about truth, equality, and fairness with something you once thought was a divine connection, or you still do. It's a, it's a, usually when I see the lovers, it's something that's like a soul contract. I do have uh, the emperor showing up, and then I have the two of swords, and then I have the knight of earth, you. The emperor is not your energy, that's Aries, but I feel that you've been at a crossroads about something that's, or someone who's been a little overbearing. Because really all you want in your life is harmony. And with the Knight of Pentacles here, this is the Knight of Earth on one mission, your mission of something solid and stable, firm, firm foundation. The Knights never back down because you're after triumph and success. Keep going. Let's start over here. I have death showing up and there it is underneath all that. I have transformation. It's like recently in the past, you started transforming yourself, getting rid of that old icky skin. You know, the moth, now you want to go into the butterfly. Mm -hmm. I have the world. It's definitely been a completion of a cycle from everything that has broken your heart for a passionate brand new opportunity. We're coming into these energies. Remember, I did have triumph and success. The ace of wands coming into your current energies is you want a brand new passionate beginning because you just went through transformation. And you want a firm foundation. You're going after it and nothing is stopping you, Capricorns. Whatever has hurt your heart, Capricorns, it's over. It's done. I have the world. That is something you have grown from. You've learned a lesson from. It's the last major arcana about a completion of a cycle because you're starting something new. New cycles, new beginnings. I have the Queen of Earth showing up mm -hmm. with the Seven of Swords and then the Queen of Wands. And this is rolling into your current energies. I feel with the Queen of Pentacles here, it's now you're, you're realizing something that, you know what, I am worth so much, so much from anything that has been deceptive with me, that has not been trustworthy, that has not told me the whole truth. I'm moving on. I'm moving on because I'm going after triumph and success and the Queen of Earth is showing up. That's you, that's Virgo, but it's you. It's the Queen of Earth. From anything that's been deceptive, you've just went through transformation from a broken heart, and it's been a whole hell of a lot of completions of cycles, Capricorns. And with the Queen of Wands here, this is the Queen of Determination, the charismatic, fiery queen of passion, of now you know what you want. You're going after triumph and success, and nothing is stopping you. They just want me to tell you the strongest energies. Please be patient. The waiting game is telling me something is about to shift in your favor. For prosperity to begin and to reach harmony. I'm saying. And then I did have emotional withdrawal. I do feel you're moving on from everything that has been hurting you. All right. Hmm. 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 Remember, we had changes. So I just feel something's. We're going to look at the incoming in a minute, but I'm going to look at the crossing energies. If you are not dealing with anyone, my beautiful Capricorns, crossing for Capricorns. This is um, only for those dealing with people or who want to know. There is a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming energies for you. Crossing energies, please. What do you want to show me? For the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Please show me what I need to see. A little bit about the crossing energies my Capricorns have been dealing with. Thank you. What else do you want to show me, please? Thank you. About the crossing energies hmm. for the sign, yes, Capricorns. 
Thank you. Anything else you'd like to show me? Okay. Well, under the, underneath the deck, I do have the Three of Wands. <laughs> that is someone who's waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting for their ship to come in. That's the Three of Wands. Somebody at a distance. I have the King of Wands. Uh, that's very determined energy. I feel someone is pulling out all the stops to have patience here. I do have the Four of Wands and someone who is uh, watching you. I don't mean watching you as in... <sighs> the Four of Wands is my 1111 gateway is about to open. And with the Page of Swords here, this is someone who thinks about it, tries to keep an eye on you. But with the king of determination here, like they're so determined to have it their way, they're going to wait a long time for that ship to come towards them. Very stubborn energy over here. Yeah, so I'm going to look. First card to my left is I have the fool, and then I have big stubborn energy, the king of pentacles. <laughs> That's Taurus. Taurus is a fixed sign, one of the most stubborn energies of the, all the zodiacs. But the king of success, the king of materialistic items, the king of earth with zero major arcana about taking a new leap of faith. Starting over. Waiting is what I feel. Waiting. Very earthy energy of the king. I have the two of wands with someone who is waiting, taking a big time out with the four of swords. Two of wands is the opposing energies of someone who is stuck between trying to move forward but they're so busy staring into their globe because they're waiting. They're waiting. I have the two and three of wands. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're, wa they're, they're waiting. They're watching you. I'm just telling you. I have someone who has an abundance amount of patience, temperance, Sagittarius, because they are waiting for their victory. I'll tell you, once you uh, push the goat off the mountain, uh, that mountain goat ain't coming back anytime soon. <laughs> Because you're standing your ground from all the things that have broken your heart. It's like now you realize your self-worth and you've been in transformation mode. Well, patience in the Six of Wands, they have an abundance amount of patience. They've been trying to balance and blend something here because with the King of Wands here and the Six of Wands, this person wants a victory. Determined to have one. And they're being very patient. I have the Two of Swords in reverse and I have the Sun, Leo Energy. A lot of Leo energy and Taurus and Sagittarius, but it could be any sign. The two swords in reverse is someone who has is coming out of being at a crossroads. In other words, realizing that I can't be stuck between these two swords anymore. I have to figure out what is going to serve me for my highest good. So I'm going to stay over here and wait. And I'm going to stay optimistic about it. Just staying in the sun. Feeling as if I feel someone feels their Capricorn is going to come back. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm feeling. You can yell at me. If you're the cross watcher, it's what I see. I'm being very patient. But let's look at what's coming towards you, my beautiful Capricorns. We do have Mercury retrograde coming up. And you know people from the past always rip here. But let's look at what's coming towards you right here. Spirit guides. Incoming energies, please, for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. I have a Capricorn moon. And I will tell you, when I emotionally get done with something, I, I'm just in my earthy energy of no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have loyal heart. Because this is what you truly want, Capricorns, is you want a loyal heart. You want someone who's going to have your back. I'm sorry. Incoming energies. Capricorns. Thank you. All right, Spirit Guides, please show me. Incoming energies for my beautiful Capricorns. Tell me about the incoming. In the next few weeks. Thank you. I think that one's supposed to go. Hold on. Incoming energies for my beautiful Capricorns, please. What else do you want to tell me about the incoming energies for Capricorns? What else? Thank you. Anything else? Okay. 
underneath the deck I have a leg up yeah and I have it from the unfinished symphony I have fork in the road and now they want me to tell you to observe watch have someone prove to you if they are a loyal heart or not that's what's going to get you out of being in a crossroads about someone because I feel it's from an unfinished symphony. Something's quite not over yet, but you're about to get back up on top. Back up. Back up on top of the polar bear. You're about to get a leg up. Just observe. Observe and wait is what I feel. I have time for a nap. And I have community. And then I have go to the sea. Oh my gosh. I feel in the incoming energies. It's as if you're just finally going to be like... Because you're taking your thoughts to commerces. It's like now you're finally getting to a place of I'm going to be at peace. I'm going to be at peace about something because I'm going to watch how something's going to play out here. And I have community. I feel as if something's coming together for you. Um, community is about networking, something coming together in a place with a lot of people, um, something that you've been wanting to bring together. I have two cards left. I'll have orphaned and I have imagine. I feel as if they want me to tell you, imagine what it is that you truly want and stop feeling as if you're left out in the cold because you are not. Look at all that beautiful energy and imagine. You know, we create what we want with our thoughts. They want me to tell you to stop feeling left out in the cold. You're about to get help. You're about to get a leg back up. Watch how this is gonna play out for you. With community, something is coming together. Take a nap and go to the sea. Observe, wait about an unfinished symphony. Hmm. Let's look. Let's see why those are here. Spirit guides. What do you want to show me for my beautiful Capricorns? You are my emotional side, and I gotta tell you, some of the stuff's hitting home for me. Mm-hmm. Oops. Hold on. Got to get some energy in here. Incoming for the sign of Capricorns, please. Thank you. So, yeah, it does. And I have to say that sometimes I do, I can emotionally feel like an orphan, but then I start to imagine, and it brings me out of that state. I start to imagine good things. I start to imagine. All right. Incoming energies, please. Wow. Oh, they're going to jump. What do you want to show me, please? For the incoming energies for my beautiful Capricorns. What do you want to tell me? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Incoming energies, please, for the sign of Capricorns. Show me why those oracles are here, please, for the incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to show me? Thank you. Thank you. Imagine... Right in front of me, the magician with justice. And then I have one on my right. And I had one on my lap. Can't see it. Three of cups, something coming together for you with love. Underneath the deck, I have a brand new opportunity of love. The ace of cups. With the five of pentacles. And see the truth and clarity of a situation, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a brand new truth, a new clarity about the things that have left you feeling isolated, orphaned. Imagine what it is that you want. We create when we imagine. That's why you always got to keep your light thoughts in the light. No matter how you may feel. And I, I can be here. I can be here emotionally. But then I start to zap it with light and imagine what it is that I want. And believe me, it always comes into fruition down the road if I stay positive. See the truth and clarity of the things that have been making you feel isolated. Cut through it with the truth. Cut through it with the clear vision of the Ace of Swords. I'm just saying. All right. The Ace of Swords is right here with the Ace of Cups telling me that you have two new Aces. Just get out of that orphaned energy. Imagine what it is that you want. I had the old mighty manifester. All right, let's go. I have big Virgo showing up, the hermit. This is very withdrawn energy to find your answers. 
you have all the answers you need inside of you. Sometimes you just need to be alone because you have to take a nap and go to the sea. Just saying. Sometimes we all need to be alone about something you thought was a divine connection, staying optimistic in the light with the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is believing that the Knight of Love is going to be around you, that something's coming in for you with the Knight of Love. That Knight is on a mission. It never backs down. I have it with the Queen of Wands, Transformation, and then I'm gonna stop there because I got a lot of cards. Transformation showing up again, and with the Queen of Wands here, that's the Queen of Fire. That's the Queen that never backs down. The Queen of Charisma, Determination. Shedding into that skin in the incoming energies. Hmm. Okay, where am I? I'm so sorry. I have the Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. And they want me to tell you, you are about to receive. Just get out of an old skin that's making you feel isolated. Go to calmer seas, take a nap from anything that's been eaten at you. Because you're about to receive and with the Seven of Pentacles here, you're going to be putting some work into something, Capricorns. And it's going to create the ultimate stability. That's all earth energy right there. A lot of it. Two of them. Right there. You're about to receive. I saw a leg up. I have the three of cups with justice. Justice is about, this is a major arcana. It's Libra energy, but this is about everything is going to be evened out. You know, and if things have been unjust and unfair with the three of cups, something is coming together for you for the tree of love. I have the Ten of Wands, time to leave something that's been a complete burden that you're always in the fog about that has been leaving you at a crossroads. Right there. Ten of Wands is a completion. Time for you to move on. Pack up. Get going. It's not even worth the wait anymore. Because with the moon here, it's just the things that have been hidden from you, the things that you've been disillusioned about. And I have it with the Two of Swords. This is telling me... Figure out what's going to serve you for your highest good to get that blindfold off. If somebody can't serve you for your highest good and they've been making you feel left out in the cold, get that blindfold off, transform out of that old skin into the butterfly you're about to receive and it's going to create the ultimate stability for you because when justice steps up with the magician, there's just no way. It's like just keep imagining what you want. What you want. If it's you want new love, or you want to be have the energy to go after new love with for something it's right here in your incoming energies the night of love the nights are in one mission but just imagine stay in the light don't let anyone make you feel orphaned just imagine what it is that you want that's what i feel you know um that orphan energy we can do that to ourselves but you have so many beautiful things coming in and with justice showing up in the magician it's coming in and you're about to receive. I got the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Earth, you're about to receive. You're going to need to put some work into something, Capricorns, to create the ultimate stability, and you will have it. So imagine, shed the old skin into the butterfly, Scorpio, be the queen of determination to get what it is that you want. Okay, <laughs> done preaching. Spirit guides, a few messages from our beautiful Capricorns today, please. Thank you. Let's see what they want to tell you. Just a couple of cards that always ties it together. What do you want to tell my Capricorns? Thank you. I feel with Observer here, they're telling me for you just to, to chill and just watch how something's going to play out in your favor here. Just take the blindfold off and decide what's going to serve you for your highest good. All right, Spirit guides. A few cards for my beautiful Capricorns. What do you want to tell them about this reading? A couple of cards for the sign of Capricorns, please. Thank you. Anything else you want to tell Capricorns? Any other messages? Okay, right there. Here it is. I got the Six of Michael right here. Go to the sea. <laughs> It's the light at the end of the tunnel. I can say hallelujah. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. No coincidence. No coincidence. And then they want me to tell you solutions. 
We had the two swords, that last card. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Yeah, I do really feel that if something's not serving you anymore, you need to let it go with love. Let it go with love. Because something is being manifested. Stay in the light. The scales are here with justice. Beautiful, beautiful reading here today for you, Capricorns. Um, I hope it helped you in some way. If it did, please remember to like, um, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Capricorns for all your love and support and wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.